the components yet to put here the hit events or, may or maybe components that have that auto look. The next step is to configure everything. And this is the boss part, isn't it? So let's go down. Here's the filters. This one's for dust tiny, dust small. Buffers set up to only only input the amount of dust when they have it. Interact crafting table to dust mode that is gonna process and send it back to the system. Here it comes, go there here and go up to the regulators and the other stuff. This is the only major change because regulators are kind of hard to kind to work with the this kind of system. So make it directly. So here we're gonna explain how it's begin, shall we? Here is the beginning of the line as before. Or remove something more behind. The ores and odd stuff come here and hit the first filter. The filter we're gonna send it all the ores down. Yeah I know it's a long way. And here you start to filter the ores. Here's the ones that you probably use mercury. And this you use the normal water industrial grinder. They go up here. Get process and they go all go down here. And this filter is to remove the purified uranium because uranium is gonna be centrifuged, not gonna be macerated again for now. Then the other has to go down and head onto the line and go back here where they all gonna be crushed, purified, will be into the centrifuges. You wanna process and then hit turn everything from above. I can't show you because it's right behind the pipe. But you can see kinda of here. See pipe above it coming here, separate it, shut it back to the to the line. And they go from the line and here oh no, that's the see the macerators, here is the Diffusion because you have this peel. Then you go up, get the process head, just like before. It's a little easy to show, I guess. No, it's not. And then the filters to get the tiny and then to the final area. I think you can the rise is selfie. And here we're gonna put the filter to the to the furnace. Sorry about that. So basically, our processing area construction is finished. Just need, as, as I told you, to set the filters. And then they can start it out again and fix the floor. And probably need, need to think of some kind of pattern. Eh? Since you're going on this little nice circle, except for you. It's not that much. If you're gonna make perfect, it be like this, in like this, and you you'll be in the shape. So you cool. Well, it was a lot of work and tinkering and expense. Lot of expense. But it's always expensive, isn't it? And it's not again. As you see, the battery is filling up. And there is only three displays because the thermos centrifuge cannot have one display, so we have to build with it again. If we finish that, I think the next step is time to look in for this place because so many holes. Well then, see you again. Alright then, I have made the filter, I have corrected something that may be wrong, but on, on my side, 
Now let's see if this works. I'm kind of low on iron. Because as you can see I have a most no bar and a most no plate. So let's process this iron. We go to the industrial. We go to the macerator. Hmm. Not much luck. Using too much right now, and there goes the. Centrifuge and let's go the furnace. So that's gonna have a check out. Macerators, just one side. And he did set fuse. And he's the furnace. He's the compressor. Yeah, I think I have changed it, don't I? And the plate kit. So everything is working. Why it's just going to one side? This is the only problem with this setup. I like, don't have a split system, so unless it's based on lock, it goes to one side or another. Oh, well, I don't know how much I can do about it, can I? But everything is a work. Why do I lava here? Anyway... It was just a small glimpse, but as you see, I have made the, the floor. I think it's a good pattern. And some lava in the middle with a glass. And some kind of pattern coming from the shape it to out to the inside. It was okay, I guess. I can't believe that there's no one coming here. Not a single one. And not even here. I have to think about this later. And it is dark again. Down here, I have a, a little farm. Trying to get this. It's such a pain the ass to get this head with. But the more I get it, the more I get later, so... Keep it up. Now let's go outside, shall we? I 
As you see, I have removed more, most of my crops since they are already grown and placed. The only one remaining is the one that I'm gonna use eternally the copper and the tin, the argentia. But I have a little trouble with the Aurelia, even though it has the placed block side, it's not gonna start growing any leaves. And I believe the same is here with the farm. As you can see, nothing is growing, and there is all below it. So maybe it's bugged. But for now, let us make some farm, shall we? I was just gonna clear my inventory and hit them. Okay, cleared and got all the seeds now. Let us multiply our crops. And the one is Popizio and Corax rings. Because emerald is necessary. And get trading is a pain in the ass. I have found this to be one of the best designs to reproduce your crops. One, two, three, four in a straight line. So you just place them like this. Gonna make it the same on the other sides. One of the reasons for this is if you pay attention, you can crossbreed them here. And when they crossbreed, they're gonna leave this. There's caps here, which you can eat further, breed and breed again. So they're gonna take almost all the spaces. And even when this is like this, you can just like make this. So I don't need to think about complex other plants growing on some some side or anything to cross breed them. You could you breed them with them and you get more of them, hopefully. But now that we have placed them, now I need to wait them to all to grow up completely so we can cross breed them and have a better chance of get the same not of the type of plant. When this field is completed you're gonna have some kind of emeralds. <laughs> I have a chest full of things to multiply. And now to make things a little more easy, let's put a larger buffer with the Rotation fertilizer to feed the crop matron. And since they can output power, you're gonna keep the crop matron running. Have a, small, a little solar flow flower to get power to feed it during the time. So, this will help my plants to get a little better status. It's a bit, but the only way to make it the all work at the same time is doing this manual. Let's see what I can do about this. 